I'm shooting on what I think is the best 4K YouTube setup. And so I'm gonna break down in this video, my camera, the lens that I use, the lights, the mics, even this table. I'm gonna break everything down, show you guys how I shoot these YouTube videos. And so if you wanna get a look to something like this, well, I'm gonna break it down for you in this video. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Nolan Molt with Think Media and let's jump right into this video. So this is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be behind the scenes. So I actually have another camera right here. And so I don't know what camera to look at. I, I, okay, I'll look at this camera. So I'm gonna break down exactly this entire setup, but first things first, let me change the lighting in here because it's super orange. And so up here, we actually have these LED bulbs that are smart bulbs that connect directly to my phone. I'm gonna change those to white so that it's a bit easier to film in here. So that's the first thing, and that's gonna be linked in the description below. If you guys want to check that out, then you can check the link in the description. We're gonna have all these things down below, so make sure you check it out. Now, when it comes to adding color to the room, I also have these LED strips, and I have two sets. I have one that's outlined on the ceiling, and then I also have some that are behind my desk and behind the monitor. I like to actually change up the color. I like to link these with the LED strips up top, and then I like to have the LED strips that are behind the desk a different color just to kind of spice things up, to make it different, to make it fun. Right here, I have this remote that allows me to control both of those. And so if I want to turn those on or off, you can see it really adds some really cool vibes over into the background, makes it a lot more interesting than if those were just turned off. Now, up top right here, I have these strips and I can turn those on and off as well as change these colors to whatever I want. So one of the really cool things is that while I'm at my desk, I have a remote and I have my phone and I can change all the lights in the room uh, just with this remote right here. So if I wanted to do something different, it's really easy, everything is at the desk. The other light that I have on my desk setup is this Godox SL60 watt light. And then I have this big uh, diffusion softbox right here. And this is also gonna be linked in the description and it is on a C stand. So this is controlled by a different remote that also sits on my desk. So I can easily just you know increase the brightness if I want to do that. Uh, I can turn it on or off. And so this is really nice, again, to have all the control at the desk. Usually I leave this at 10% uh, because I have a very fast lens that lets a lot of light in. And so 10% is where I keep my Godox light. Just below that, I have the best part of the setup, which is the camera and the lens that I use. Now, this is a new camera. This is the Sony a7C, and we are going to have a link in the description, uh, a playlist of all the videos that we've made regarding this camera and my review of it. But it's a fantastic YouTube camera that shoots 4K, 24 or 30 frames per second has amazing autofocus, you have that flip out screen, and this lens is my favorite YouTube lens to go with this setup because it's a 20 millimeter lens on this full frame camera, which is a wide angle. So you get that really cool wide shot, but what's awesome about this lens is it has an aperture of 1.8. So even though it's a wide lens, you get a lot of light in, and it gives you that blurry background behind you, which helps create that depth between you know me and the background. So this is my favorite favorite lens to shoot YouTube videos on and that is in the description as well. Now this is a trusty tripod. We actually did a review on this as well. And this is just a great little YouTube uh, tripod, especially if you don't need to be doing any tilting or panning. It has this little ball head right here. So if I need to adjust anything, if it's a little bit off, I can easily just loosen and tighten that just by doing that. Now behind here, this looks a little bit weird, but we have this like whiteboard and this is just like a dollar. And really all this is doing is if I change the color to let's say red or something, and I don't want that red light to spill onto my face, I put this up and it just blocks that light that's kind of happening behind there. Cause these LED strips go all the way down to the outlet down in this corner. And so that was like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Up top, we have my favorite shotgun microphone that records all the audio for these YouTube videos. And this is the Rode VideoMic NTG. And this is a fantastic microphone. And this is on a $15 uh, microphone stand that I've turned into a little boom stand. So this is perfect if you're sitting down doing videos. Uh, if you're gonna be standing up recording videos, 
then I definitely recommend going with a C stand, you know, a boom holder, but we do have a video and I show both options. And so you can check that out as well if you are trying to figure out which one you need. But for $15, uh, this is a great little setup. And what I love about this microphone is two things make it really good in this situation. Right up here, I have this little dial and this can increase the mic input. And so if I want to make it louder or quieter, all I gotta do is twist the knob up here and that's gonna help me get those perfect audio levels uh, just by reaching up and moving that around. The second thing is if the microphone ends up getting into the shot a little bit, all I have to do is press this up and it's going to slide up or I can slide it down closer to my mouth and so that is a really cool thing about the Rode video mic that you can do uh, makes it really easy when I'm shooting these to do quick adjustments with this microphone then I have a 10 foot Rode uh, 3.5 millimeter extender that is going all the way to the camera so that this audio is captured on the camera so when I put everything into Final Cut Pro, everything synced up, everything is recorded, audio and video together. Last couple things is on my desk, I have my laptop where I just have this MacBook Air and this has my script and you can obviously print out paper and have that close by. But this desk is from Ikea. It's a cheap desk, I think it's like $20 and it's an Ikea Linmon. Linmon it's gonna be in the description, but it's a very cheap desk and uh, does exactly what I need for this YouTube video stuff. I've also had this desk for over two years and so it uh, holds up over time, has a nice, you know, glossy finish and so it feels super smooth. And so it's a nice little cheap desk that you can get from Ikea. Now that covers my YouTube setup. I really think this is the best 4K YouTube setup that you can get. You know, with that Sony camera, you're getting amazing colors, the great autofocus, you got the flip out screen, you got the wide angle lens, the nice lights, you have everything you need with this setup. And so if you're looking for something that maybe is a bit cheaper, you can go to thinkgearguide.com and we have a bunch of setups that are gonna range in different price points. And so this is definitely on that more professional, high end level. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click on the card if you wanna watch some more videos on the Sony a7C. I'll see you guys in the next video.